Hi, I'm Brian and you're watching Someplace or Another. And today I'm at the Steamorama, just outside of Springfield, Missouri. Let's go check this place out. That's pretty neat. That's what everybody needs. What do we got going on over here? Let's see, what are they doing? I thought it was off, but you can feel the heat come off of that one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We're gonna do our laundry. Maybe pump some water. This is a little bit different than the other two I went to. It's pretty cool. Got a little John Deere. Well, not little. <laughs> oh, that was a tractor at one time. Huh. Let's see. Oh, look. A model airplane. A model train. <laughs> Let's go check it out. DNR Railroad. Model train was pretty neat, don't you think? What else can we find? Okay, we gotta check out the piggies. <laughs> oh. That's pretty funny. Well, international. Okay, this right here will make you appreciate the modern day washing machine. Yeah, there's not a lot of other stuff. Real familiar. So that's a Maytag ringer washing machine. We got some little bitty ones. So I think it's the rule that I have to show a classic car in my videos. So... 
Okay, now we got uh, another we popper go. tractor for John Deere That's a classic. here and the plow here. Let's have an illustration there. That Drop that the plow on the ground there Ford and uh, see how it works there. Have a good plowing match there. <laughs> Pretty neat. Oh, the speedometer seems to be different. Well, look at that. It does have some junk in the trunk. <laughs> now, here's a neat uh, tracker for the Farmall. This is a Super M, and it went from the Can't quite see inside. M, and which has just a little bit more horsepower there. And this the is classic Ford Model A. Uh, I'm sorry, 1953, owned by Corbin. Uh, We got a hogwash coming up. Yep, hogwash. No diving, animal, <laughs> peeing in the water. Yeah, well, always surprises me. Something new every day. I mean, look at this. Powering a drill. I don't think I've seen that yet. Well, mainly at that RPM, you're going to go pretty slow, but still, better than hand power. Get a little closer. talking about. Oh yeah, this is power and a saw. Got my core. I guess it runs on kerosene. <laughs> cool. Call a little wood shop. Man. <laughs> That's one heck of a blade. I guess it's making these. Let's go walk around the other side. Okay, so that's the pump. No. Pump. Oh. Uh, 30s, I'm guessing. Chevrolet truck, pickup truck. like it's got a, it's not stock. It might be Bigfoot's truck. Pretty cool. Bicycles? Oh, wait, that's not just any bicycle. It's a John Deere. 
Those are all John Deere's. Huh. Ooh, Corvette off in the distance. Ooh, Waterloo boy. Interesting. It was on. something interesting. Well, it's all interesting, but this is this is different. <laughs> okay, so we got this little guy. She's taking a picture of the Boeing. And now... That's a Ford. That's a Ford, darling. Yeah, it's a Ford. Wait a minute. Hmm, I think I'm going to guess what I think it used to be. I think this used to be, I don't know what this used to be. <laughs> this is the, the redneck TV tray. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, this guy's got a sense of humor. Cool. V8 powered, I think. Yeah. Wow. Those are your uncomfortable seats. <laughs> Fire extinguishers. In the back here. All right, that's pretty neat. Cool. Check this out. Nice. That's a Corvair. Corvair. Sixty-one. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And apparently, there's something weird going on with this truck. Oh wait, <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> there's the front, and there's the back. Okay, now I get it. That's your exhaust. Everything's reversed. <laughs> Don't know whether you're coming or going. Well, look at this. That's a cool looking RV. It's a 69 Ultra Van. Oh, it's Corvair powered. That makes it interesting. Yeah. That's neat. We got a Dodge, Chevy truck. Nice. Got the old girls. Ford, Monolay. 
fucking smell. It's like it's just been refit, redone. Fresh smell of leather. Or vinyl. Maybe it's vinyl. Cool then. Hmm. Looks nice. Is it a 55 Chevy yep. truck? Yeah. Yep. A big Dodge. Oh, it's an old dump truck. The blue one. Okay. I'm gonna go check out some more classic cars. <laughs> I'm guessing more A's. Right. Sure what kind that is. What is this? It's a peerless. All I gotta say is the people must have really been tiny back then. <laughs> and they're ready for any action. Oh, you know what? That's interesting. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. The one on your right is an A, and the one on your left is a T. You can see the roof line is different, which is striking. You wouldn't be able to tell. Let's see how much taller the T is than the A. I mean, suspension components are slightly different. That's the A. Here's your tea. But you gotta figure your, uh, got your cooling windshield. <laughs> it's, got, it's got GPS. You gotta figure the this car actually has, a has double the horsepower. Okay, so I mean, think about it, double the horsepower. When is your next car? Does anybody make it to double the horsepower? A whole lot of the enclosed ones. This, this is the one that's more popular, I think. But <laughs> driving in the rain, you thought was good GPS also. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find. Chopping up. Oh, they're chopping up some cedar. Check out the shed. Hmm. What we got over here?
Thanks for watching today's adventure. I will see you guys someplace or another. What do you think? It's a nice one. It's not as big as some of the other ones I've been to, but still pretty nice. Uh, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Did you do that yet? Did you hit the bell? Stay tuned for more adventure to come. Subscribe, like, share, and thanks for watching. Bye.